Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about Rectangular Coordinate System. This one is commonly known as Cartesian Coordinate System. So later on, I will tell you bakit siya yung tinatawag din na Cartesian Coordinate System. So this one is under grade 8 mathematics, but in other grade level of mathematics, medyo ginagamit din naman tong topic na to. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now, basically, I want you to memorize these different terminologies that may encounter nyo when you are studying rectangular coordinate system. So, in this video, I will teach you about the x-axis, the y-axis, the origin, the quadrants, the abscissa, and the coordinate. So, what is the meaning of these terminologies? Let's start with the x-axis x-axis is considered as the horizontal number line. Again, it is the horizontal number line. So, sir, where is the x-axis? So, x-axis is located here. This is your x-axis. Again, this one or this number line is your x-axis. And the center of the x-axis is commonly, maybe, this is zero, right? So, just imagine a horizontal number line, and that is your x-axis. Now, how about the y-axis? So, it's, let's go with the y-axis. This is your y-axis. Sir, how can you define y-axis? Simply naman, since yung ating x-axis is the horizontal number line, ito namang ating y-axis is considered as the vertical number line. And again, the center of the y-axis is also zero. So I hope na, na gets you na yung point ng x-axis and the y-axis. So you have the horizontal and the vertical number line. So we're done with the second and first terminology. Let's move on with the third one. How about, sir, yung origin naman natin? When we say origin, it is the center of the rectangular coordinate system o yung tinatawag natin Cartesian coordinate system. Bakit siya yung tinatawag natin center? Because the origin is considered also as the intersection. Again, intersection of the x and y axis. At sir, nasan po siya? Nandito po siya. And when we talked about the origin, ang kanyang coordinates ay 0, 0. Later on, we will talk about the coordinates of a point. So, yeah. And then, the, th the fifth one, sorry, the fourth one, is yung tinatawag natin quadrants. So, when we say quadrant, it is the four equal regions in a rectangular coordinate system that is created when the x-axis and y-axis intersected each other. Okay? Again, quadrants are the four equal regions created when the x and y axis intersected each other. So, sir, nasan po sila? So, these are the quadrants. Itong part na to. Ito. 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 Okay? So, meron tayong mga specific names for those quadrants. At yung quadrants natin, this is your quadrant Number one. Sir, how about quadrant number two? Yung pag-number ng ating quadrants, ang movement niya ay counterclockwise. Pag ganito. Ganyan counterclockwise. Meaning, if this is your quadrant number one, your quadrant number two is here. Ayusin lang natin, sulat natin. Quadrant number 2. Next, your quadrant number 3 is located here. For the quadrant number 4, ito naman yung kanyang location. Quadrant 4. Okay? So, another thing about rectangular coordinate system 
is for you to know the abscissa at yung tinatawag natin or coordinate. Ah, sorry. This one is not coordinate. This is ordinate. Now, ano yung ibig sabihin ng abscissa at ng ordinate? So basically, as you can see, yung ating origin kanina ay meron siyang coordinates na 0, 0. Again, 0, 0 because yung intersection ng x and y axis can form a point. At ang bawat point natin dito ay meron silang tinatawag na coordinates. And basically, when you talk about the coordinates of a point, siya ay represented by x and y coordinates. So ngayon, ano bang ibig sabihin ng x and y coordinates natin? Yung ating x coordinate ay tinatawag nating abscissa. Okay? So let me give you an example. Let's say for example, I will be having a point here wherein kapag dinig na niyo yung ating Cartesian coordinate system, ang coordinates ng point natin ay negative 5 and negative 6. Kaya nakita niyo ba mismo yan? Negative 5 and negative 6. Ang tawag dito sa number na to, ito yung tinatawag nating X coordinate or mas kilala siya bilang abscissa. Yung atin namang negative 6, it represents the Y coordinate. Siya yung tinatawag natin ngayong coordinate. Okay? So, paano, paano ko nalaman na ang, ang kanyang coordinates ay negative 5 and negative 6? Una, una yung kailangan tignan ay yung inyong x-axis. Look at this one. This point, nakatapat siya sa negative 5. So, that is your x-coordinate. At yung point naman, with regards to the y-axis, nakatapat naman siya ngayon sa negative 6. That's why the coordinates of that point is negative 5 and negative 6. So, the last one na kailangan ko sabihin sa inyo is kung sino ba yung proponent or sino ba yung mathematician na nag-create ng rectangular coordinate system or na mas kilala natin bilang Cartesian plane. The mathematician behind this um, awesome thing of rectangular coordinate system is none other than Rene Nung bata ako, ang basa ko dyan ay Rene Descartes But, as time goes by And natutunan ko sa mga different videos At mga natutunan sa akin dati Ang basa pala dyan ay Rene Descartes Again, Rene Descartes So, again The rectangular coordinate system Has a different terms like X-axis, Y-axis, origin quadrants, abscissa, ordinate, at another term or another na name ng system na to ay yung natin Cartesian plane. Tapos, the proponent or the mathematician behind this is yung tinatawag natin si Rene Descartes. Again, I hope natuto, natuto kayo sa ating video and sana makapag-subscribe kayo at i-hit nyo na rin yung ating bell button para lagi ka updated sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!